Hey guys, today we're going to do a little something different with the snapper that I caught today. If you haven't seen the video of uh, me catching this snapper, this is the 14 inch one I believe. Uh, you can look at the information icon on the right hand corner, give that a check out. And uh, right now we're going to do a Thai red curry with coconut flake mangrove snapper. First things first, we got to get this fish filleted. As you can see, I already filleted one side. So let's go ahead and do this side. And this fish thought he was slick. He was taking me to the rocks and everything. All right, here we go. Perfect. Now I'm going to turn that around. There we go. Get rid of this. Now we're going to remove any things that we don't want, like this right here and those pin bones. They go to right here. All right, so we'll just cut that out. A lot of people just pluck them out with their pliers or something. I just cut them out. All right, done. Now we wash it. Okay, we'll wash this plate real quick. Alright, and there we go. A little snapper fillet. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, okay, before we even start, let me tell you what you guys need. You're going to need Thai red curry sauce. You can pick this up in any grocery store. I picked this one up at Aldi's and it would only cost me $1.99. Salt and pepper. You're gonna need an egg wash. That's one egg with a little bit of milk. Sweetened coconut flakes. And you're gonna need breadcrumbs. Okay, first things first, we need to put the breadcrumbs on the back end of this. So we're gonna get the egg wash, just spoon it over. Just give it a nice little coating, make sure it's all even. Okay get that out the way and put that on the back end of here make sure we got it on there nice and neat there you go you see how that uh, that looks right there okay so we're gonna bring it back to the plate All right, let me wash my hands real quick now we're gonna do a little salt a little pepper Okay, and then we're going to use the Thai red curry sauce. You don't want to put too much. Oh my god, that stuff smells so good. Okay, make sure you coat the whole top side of the fish. Alright, and then we're going to use the coconut flakes. I mean, if you guys are feeling a little adventurous, you want a little taste of Thailand, maybe some of that Caribbean feel, this is the way to go. All right. And there we go. Oh, let's get this out of here. Check that out, you guys. That look awesome. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to put that in the oven at 350 degrees for about... 20 minutes 25 minutes until it turns flaky the meat turns flaky and uh, we're gonna give her a taste test I guarantee this is gonna be one meal you're gonna love all right you guys the next thing we're gonna do take a piece of foil we're gonna put some coconut oil on here oops I spilled some already so we're just gonna use that that's gonna keep the fish from sticking to the bottom just gonna make it all lined up right there and then we're going to place this in our oven on the rack and we're going to put our fish on top and we're going to cook the fish for about 20-25 minutes and see what happens. Here we go. Okay, now we have them on, on the oven. Uh, do you have a mitt? 
There we go. We're just going to slide that in. And we're going to close the door. See you in about 25 minutes. All right, you guys, check this out. We have the finished product right here. We have the curry snapper, yellow rice with a black bean sauce, and a garden salad. Now let's give it a test. You should cut through smooth. All right. Tell me what you think. I'm just going to take all of it, if you don't mind. It's good. Delicious. You heard it from him. It's delicious. I'm still eating it all. All right, guys. Till next time, have a good one. Bye.